start out? You want to start? I'll start. Uh, or we can continue with the music. Welcome back to the Weekly Flare. This is part two, if you're watching on YouTube. Greetings. Um, and then I guess you split it up a different way. On, I, on YouTube, it is split into two parts. Split into yes. two parts. So. The podcast, it is not. The live viewers, it is not. And they get to see all the in-between stuff that we yes. do. But Which yeah, we're, probably isn't that interesting no. in all reality. We, we probably we, should keep the segments in between shorter. Maybe we retain more live viewers. Most likely. But that's okay. We're all over the board. The ones who stay have a good time, I imagine. Or they just like leave it on while they're eating or something. Most likely. I don't know. Before we move forward and talk about technology, we've got a little bit of technology that we use here on the show. That's right. We've got people here on Periscope. We've got people here on Meerkat. Yeah, yeah. I don't use Periscope. I use Meerkat. I can't be on both at one time. No. So what I'm going to do is uh, we've got six people in here now, but only Yo, three yeah. of them are showing up on the list right now. I'm going to shout out Mr. Nick. Um, he is an interaction designist and musician. What's up, Nick? Um, what's up, Nick? How you doing? We've got Mauro Andres. I probably butchered his name. Probably. Uh, thanks for joining there. There's no bio. And then this other guy, yeah. which is me. I'm here in the, in the thing. If You're you guys, showing up in your own list. I, I am showing up my own list. So if you guys want to talk during the podcast, you know, send us something you guys want to talk about or think that something is interesting that James or I say, let us know. Other than that, we're going to go right into the technology right now. And, um, which is James. Okay. It's, it's his favorite section right now. Did, well, the whole show is my favorite section. I like our show. So it's like the drum section of a band. No. It's the whole band. It's more like the guitar solo. I gotcha. Okay, so Chris, you use technology. I do. I use technology. Yes. Do you use social media? Yes. Not Interesting. As, not as much as I used to. Do you use Google Maps or Apple Maps, as the case may be? Um, I can say yes. Do you use Google? Yes. Chris, I'm a Google Chrome did guy. you know that because of technology, it's harder to lie? I did not know that. Yeah. Okay, so I read this blog post. I think it was on the Washington Post. If I can find the link again, I'll post it in the show notes. But um, this lady apparently was arrested because she uh, said that she was sexually assaulted during some time. And her Fitbit proved that she was not where she said she was when it happened. Really? She said she was at home sleeping or something like that. And they looked at her data from her Fitbit. It said she was up and walking somewhere. Like she wasn't even home. She was awake, somewhere out, walking around. Mm -hmm. So apparently they arrested her for falsely something about something. I don't, I, I don't know. But yeah, so apparently this is a big thing now. Technology is actually making it harder for people to lie. Where has technology started with uh, fighting against lying? We've got lie detectors. Oh, lie detectors, I think, are the original. Uh huh. Um, as far as technology, you would know, you people... say anything with ADIS, with uh, criminal justice, you know, uh, ADIS uh, databases, most fingerprints? Most of that is more just like background, which I guess you could lie about, but I still think lie detectors probably precede that you start because before that the only background was all kept in paper basically mm. you know the police records and that kind of stuff and then you know lie detectors which probably didn't work all that great mm. but I mean close enough and now of course you have these now all those databases of police records have moved digital and now your background is pretty much everywhere mm -hmm. But yeah, I'd, I'd say the first technology is probably the lie detector because I think that preceded like big databases of like electronic data, I think. Okay. Maybe a gun was probably the first technology that kept you from lying. <laughs> Most likely. I, I don't know. That sounds pretty reasonable to me. Yeah. The guillotine, perhaps? Mm -hmm. Torture devices? I don't know. It depends on how you want to define technology. Yeah. Like actual computers? Then yeah, the lie detector is probably like the first. Okay. But then again, it was a lie detector dependent on computers, so at that point where they're already digital, I don't know. Anyways, the point is now that data is so everywhere, everything is hard to lie. Like for instance, say like you work, you have a job, you have two jobs now. Yes, I've got two jobs. So say you tell your boss that like you know uh, you need the day off because like I don't know your mom's sick or something, mm. right? Yes. And he's like, all right, yeah, you know, have the day off, you know, don't worry about using a vacation day, just go take care of your mom, you know, come back, whatever. And then he gets on the old Facebook or Twitter or whatever, looks you up and sees that you're like at the beach surfing or something. 
See what I'm saying? Yeah, see I see what, what you're saying? definitely saying. Yeah, that that pause was perfect. Yeah. You were just like looking at me, like I, I kind of <laughs> decided if it was like I blew your mind, or if you were just like, <laughs> was that your whole point? I. That's a good point. It's a good point. I'm just saying, it's so. And it's funny because it's not like it's any harder or easier to say a lie, but it's harder to like keep it from being shown that mm -hmm. you're lying about. I mean, something is true. Like, you know, if you want to go surfing, I think you could probably just take a day off and go surfing if you wanted to, yeah. you know? I don't know what kind of job you have. In some places, you can't just take the day off uh -huh. like that. But, you know, it's just making it easier and easier to collect data on people. Yes. And which in turn makes it harder and harder for people to lie because there's more known about them. And then Skynet's coming. What was that? Did you not see Terminator? I might need to catch up. You've never seen Terminator? I have, but I did. it's been a long time. Oh my goodness. Well, anyway, so the whole thing was technology is kind of changing our lives, right? I mm. mean, um, you know, this lady, I don't know why she did what she did, but now she's in trouble for it because her Fitbit, of all things, which just tracks, you know, your exercising and walking and apparently where you are, and now she's in trouble. Chris, this is crazy. Yes, it is. This is revolutionary. Yes, it this is, is going to change lives. Now, if only we could take that and hold people accountable for the things they say. For instance, when they're running for office. Oh man, yes. Definitely. Never gonna happen. No. No. No, it's too no. protected. It's crazy. But seriously though, uh, just something to be you know, aware of all you people out there, you know. Uh, don't lie. It, it'll come back to you a lot faster now than ever. Mm -hmm. So just don't do it. Just be honest. Be honest people. Then you don't have to worry about it. And I was kind of the guy that wrote this blog post. His point was like, most people don't have any compelling reason to have to lie about something they just do it because maybe they're embarrassed or like they think like people are going to be disappointed but like honestly just just be honest and be cool and like most people would rather that mm -hmm. they would rather you just be honest with them uh they're not gonna like you know that's just life you gotta do yeah. stuff you gotta go surf sometime in the middle of the week you know yeah sometimes you just gotta do that be honest with people be honest that's the point of the blog post, I think. At least that's what I got out of yeah. it. Yeah. Because it's, I mean, you shouldn't lie, but it's getting harder and harder to to keep things, your stories all lined up. Mm -hmm. So if you just are truthful, then you don't have to worry about it. I'm very upfront with my positions at work. I yeah. say, hey, I need this day off. If it doesn't work out, you know, we can figure, can we figure something out? I'm yeah. not going to say, hey, you know. Um, say, hey, I broke my leg as you're standing there. Yeah. Okay, that's a bit ex extreme, but... Now, how extreme would you call this? I used to work at the movie theater. You yes, know she this. did. Now, my boss called me on a Sunday... Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. And asked me mm -hmm. if I would come into work. Mm -hmm. I told him no, mm -hmm. because I was out of town. Mm -hmm. I work in High Point. Mm -hmm. And I was in Greensboro. Hmm... Hmm. Technically, you were out of town. Exactly. If, well, you live in High Point too, so it's not like you were even in the same city that you normally live in. Exactly. I don't know, Chris. That seems a bit fishy to me. That's, it's, not, it's not lying, that's though. It's a very gray area, Chris. <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh, Send man. Send your tweets at Chris what you think about him saying he's out of town because he was literally five minutes away in a different out of town. city. You can do it too. I mean, like, seriously, like, next city over. Like, not like even like an in-between little small not, town. Not 30 miles. Literally, the city lines were touching. Yes. Not 30 minutes away, not an hour away. Pretty much between 10 to 15 minutes away. But I was still out of Technically town. Technically in a different town. I don't know if I would call that out of town. I would. That's I guess we're different. That's a very great fishy area. <laughs> I would just told him no, I'm busy. True. Or I should have answered. Or you could have just gone to work. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. That's neither here nor there. Well, it's actually there. <laughs> it's been the four years. It's been in the past. But, yeah. You know what's not in the past? What's that? Subscription software. That's the new future. Yeah, it's terrible. Why do you think it's terrible? Okay, remember Microsoft Office? 
and then you scroll yes. to buy yep. Microsoft Office and you get Word and PowerPoint and Excel and you can get the version with Outlook and Access if you wanted and it was like kind of expensive, you know, yep. but then you had it for as long as forever you wanted. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we had Office XP that way and I bought Microsoft Office 2007 and I've been using Office 2007 since it came out and it's great. I paid for it once and I just have it forever. Yes. And then Microsoft introduced Office 365. Which yeah. is like their subscription thing. You pay for it every year. Okay. And it's like cloud storage. Not 2010. 2010 came out, and then Office 365, 365. came out. Okay. Yeah. And you know it's cool. Like you get the cloud storage, and you get like all the updates always. But like I don't want to buy my software on a monthly or yearly no, payment. I just want to buy it and get own it over it. with and own it for as long as you want to. And so Rachel sells stickers now on mm. Etsy. Um, under Planned Pizzazz, and so she like made this little shop and named it Planned Pizzazz, and we filled out the paperwork for her DBA, and all that stuff, and it's great. And so she's been using like some different free software that like designer stickers, and she has to import them into another software, and then put them into the software that like actually cuts it. And we wanted to try and consolidate all that down and just get Photoshop, so she could just design them right in Photoshop, and then put them right into the software, okay. save some steps, some time, whatever. We go to buy Photoshop, and I knew Adobe did this because I remember them talking about it a couple years ago going to what they call Creative Cloud, which is basically a subscription cloud service that includes their software. That's fine. You can still buy Adobe Creative Suite 6, which is fine. They're still supporting it. I think they're still supporting it two years later. You can still buy it anyway, so I imagine they are. But it's like $600 a year for the Photoshop, Illustrator, <sighs> in scene bundle. Like, you can get them, so it's like a monthly, you can pay like monthly or you can pay yearly. Okay. So if just for Photoshop, say you just want to get Photoshop and nothing else, it's $20 a month. That's like $240 a year. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Did I do that? Yeah. 20 times 12. Yeah. 340, yeah. That's insane. That is ridiculous. Yeah, and so like, Chris, would you buy software that way? No. Because um, we still like need to get her Photoshop or something. I would suggest... And um, we want to get Illustrator also so she can like do some different layouts and stuff. Uh -huh. I'm going to suggest something off air. Okay. Uh, I'm not stealing something. No, no, no. I can, get it, I can somehow get it to you fine for cheaper. Okay. Someone who like sells, like resell software? Most likely or reuse a, right, reuse a code or something. No, I don't sort. do the reusing codes thing. That's too close to stealing it. Okay. Because this person you know who would do it. Yeah, I don't do that. That's too close to just stealing the software. I'm not going to talk about what else is. I think is. software sometimes is too expensive, but I'm not into like stealing stuff. That's not I, cool. Whether it's digital, physical, music, whatever, stealing is still stealing. stealing. I'm gonna. That's my personal stance. I'm, I'm not going to tell you what this guy does on the air. I'm not going to say his name on the air. That's probably a good call. I'm going to tell you off air. Okay. But um. But no, like we still want to get Photoshop and we still want to get Illustrator. But I'm torn. Like, do I just buy Creative Suite six for? Okay. And I like, just paid like the thirteen hundred dollars or whatever it is for the suite that has like Photoshop and Illustrator and a couple other mm. things that we want to we use, or do I just break down and just buy the monthly subscription or the mm -hmm. yearly subscription, which like is great. You get all the updates, and the, each year you get the new software, mm -hmm. and like you can move it between computer to computer easier. But like, it's like a never any payment. Yeah. There's got to be some easier way to one-time buy it. Well, like I said, you can still buy Creative Suite 6. Mm -hmm. Like, that's still an option. Okay. And, like, their cloud stuff is good. Like, you get cloud storage with it. I mean, there's other things you get other than just the yearly software. Mm -hmm. But I don't really need any of that. Storage is so cheap, I could just buy a hard drive. Exactly. Or Barracuda. Yeah, exactly. Or a Dropbox. I mean, there's so many there's options. There's so many options. And so, Chris, would you buy a subscription software like that? No. No. I would try to find an alternative to buy it one time. What if it was, I, I don't even, I can't think of any examples that really would make sense. If you were a business and like Photoshop was what you did in like Illustrator, like it makes sense because you, you want, bringing money you want the new stuff. Yes. And like you want the security updates and all the bug fixes, but like for a, you know, a, a self-employed person or like a, a prosumer, as they call them, mm. who's not a professional but like likes to have nicer consumer goods, it's kind of hard to justify that 
never ending payment for software. Yeah. So I don't know what we're going to do now. But it's getting ridiculous. There's going to be something. And normally we keep it positive on the show. Yes. But that we literally just looked at that before you got here. And I was like, this is insane. And you're saying that Apple doesn't Because I knew it. that they did that, but I was expecting the pricing to have been a little better. Because mm -hmm. I remember when they first announced it, they are like, okay, we're going to do a better pricing scheme than what it was. It still ends up like $50 a month. Or there's like, if you pay yearly, it's like $600 for the year. I think that's right. Yeah, it is. I think that's what it was. It so yeah, it's insane. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Wow. Yeah. So that's that. If you guys have any suggestions, let us know. Yeah, let me know. I use... I've used GIMP before, but I mean, she doesn't want to use that because the interface isn't very great. I have Corel Photo Studio 3 for Windows, which doesn't help her with her Mac anyways. Yeah. But Photoshop is a really nice... And she really needs Illustrator too for something else that she's working on. Oh gosh. That's the other thing. Like Illustrator is like the tool for what she wants to do uh, other than the stickers that she makes. There's another project she wants to start working on. And Illustrator is like the perfect tool to do that. And I don't know any good Illustrator alternatives. Mm -hmm. I just don't know. There aren't really any. Yeah, I can't think of any. Me neither. If you know of any good Illustrator alternatives, let us know. Because I would like to see if there are any that yeah. are. And they have to be Mac compatible because she does use a Mac. Don't uh, Mac desktops have a, like how they have GarageBand? My phone has GarageBand. Yeah, there's not really a good, I mean, Photoshop, you can find something that'll do it, but there's not a good alternative for Illustrator that I know of. Gotcha. That, I don't even know anything that does what Illustrator does, okay. honestly. Yeah. I know other software that you can import the Illustrator files, but I don't know anything that actually just does what Illustrator does that well. I don't. Yeah, I can't think of it. I've also never really had to look into it, yeah. so I'll see. But yeah, subscription software is getting crazy. And I hope that more companies don't do that. Like antivirus software does that. A lot of antivirus mm -hmm. software do that. And uh, it's ridiculous. Yes. I mean, they do it because, like, well, we have to update the virus databases every year. And this, and if you want to stay protected, you need the new ones and whatever. It's just kind of crazy. Yeah. And I get it costs money to have people working on all that. I get that. It's expensive. Hmm. But I like to own my software. I think that's a little old school of me, probably, and like that's gonna be a trend that's just gonna have to get over. It's I'm it's, just not there yet. It's the same thing with phones nowadays. I'm not there yet. With your installment plans and oh yeah, for, oh, it's the same thing. It's turning into a lot of things of you you have to pay monthly for it. Yep, it's, it's how they get their money. It's getting crazy. You don't have to pay monthly for this podcast though. No, it's this free. This podcast is free. We do it for the people. For the people. People power. By the people. No? You don't remember people pop? Oh, you weren't watching wrestling then. No. Ah, oh, good old John Laurinaitis. He had a terrible. It was terrible. Actually, he was kind of funny, but anyways, that's not the point. This is not the wrestling show. That's after Battleground. All right, Chris, since you're the host, what else you got for us? I think that's about it. That's it. That's it. Wrapping up episode 26, just like that. How was your week? My week was great. Halfway through it? Living on a prayer. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, Madonna. What? That's living on a prayer. I'm just kidding. Oh, man. This is crazy. I don't even know what just happened. He <laughs> makes like a Bon Jovi song in a Madonna song. Oh, that, her song is like a prayer. I know what her song <laughs> is. <laughs> oh, man. I was going to wait for your face. Goodbye. All of our viewers are leaving yeah. now. That was exactly. terrible. I had to say Madonna. But, yeah. it was. It's, we're halfway through. Man, yeah, it's, it's just Wednesday. It's been a long week so far. Well, you had a job interview, and you went to I, work too. I had a job and interview. Broke your back to her. I didn't break my back. Oh, I had, a, I had two scratches on my back from someone's nails. Well, you should probably stop dancing like a crazy person. Well, I'm going back on Sunday to go do it more. So it's gonna be a good week. I gotta say, we're gonna finish up this week. Have a, have a great. How was your fourth? Fourth was great. How was your Independence Day? Oh man, so illegal. Oh wow. man. Going there. Huh? Going there with fireworks and stuff like that. It was a lot of fun. Alright, well we probably shouldn't talk about that. No, I don't, I don't need then. the I don't need the uh, FBI after me. No. Well there's no evidence. It's all gone. Because you blew it all up. It's all gone. Because you launched it all into the sky. Yes. Wow. I have a rocket left over that went over at two hundred miles That's in the air. That's kinda crazy. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, with that, you can find me on Twitter at James Walter. 
Are you not gonna do anything else? That's the only place you need to find me. I'm on Twitter. That's uh, Never Lose Heart. That's all one word. You guys can find it here on uh, Periscope or the Weekly Flare as well as the show. You yeah. can find us on YouTube. Yeah. Um, I've got a Vine. I got an Instagram. That's fight underscore with underscore heart. You can find me there. Um, you can tell I'm going downhill, man. Tired. The, 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 my, my tiredness level just hit from yesterday. I'm so exhausted right now. It hit me in the middle of the show. Well, I'm saying weird things. Let's wrap it up then. So we should go wrap home it and up. go to bed. I probably will. Okay. Thanks for watching, everyone. Oh, you can find the Weekly Flare at theweeklyflare.com or on Twitter at the Weekly Flare. Which, if you're listening to this or watching it, you probably already knew that. Yes. But I like to say it anyways, just in case you somehow stumbled on this, which could happen if you like listen to it on Stitcher, because we're on Stitcher, mm -hmm. or if like you Googled something and somehow we hit that. And you just like clicked on it and didn't know how you found us. Well, that's how you found us. So there you go. So thanks for watching, listening, however you're enjoying this. And we'll see you again in seven days. Take it easy. Peace.